And joining me live on the news track is Union Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs and Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas uh, in the Modi government, Hardeep Singh Puri. Uh, Minister Puri, uh, good evening to you. Thank you for your time here on the news track. Your first uh, reactions and words, sir, on what the Delhi High Court said today, particularly its observations on Arvind Kejriwal while dismissing his plea against arrest. Uh, Shiv, my reaction is that, number one, this was being wrongly made out as a bail application. This was a challenge to the arrest and remand. It was a challenge under Section 19 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. And I think it could not, the court could not have been clearer. It was unsparing in its comments. It said very clearly that, a, Mr. Kedriwal is involved in his personal capacity in criminal conspiracy. He is involved as chief minister and he is involved as the convener of the Aam Admi Party in demanding kickbacks, receiving money and directing that to the elections in Goa, number one. Hmm. Number two, when they questioned the approvers and how the statements were obtained, I just want to read out to you the section. And I think this could not be more crystal clear. To cast aspersions on the manner of recording statements of <coughs> approver would amount to casting aspersions on the judiciary itself hmm. and the judiciary, judicial process. The law of approver is more than 100 years old. It is not a one-year-old law to suggest as if it was enacted to falsely implicate the petitioner. Now, what Mr. Kedriwal has done is tried to put a political spin on a purely legal matter. Yeah. The legality of his arrest was being questioned. And the court has said that the arrest took place exactly in prescribed manner. There's no illegality. When they questioned the approver statement, they said approver statement was obtained by the court and you are casting aspersions on the judicial process if you question that. Then they brought in Money Laundering Act and things like that. Yeah. The court said we have nothing to do with that. So I think today's judgment by the learned Delhi High Court judge was crystal clear, unambiguous, and I think Mr. Kedriwal and the Aam Army Party's subsequent attempts to obfuscate this and talk about political vendetta. I mean, what are the facts of the case? In, on September 4 of 2020, when the country was reeling under the pandemic, Mr. Kedriwal produced a national excise policy. I have it here. Delhi excise policy for the year 21-22. Hmm, yeah. At the height of the pandemic, when people were gasping for oxygen, he produces an excise policy introduced in November 21, scrapped in July 22. He was opening liquor vents within 30 meters of schools, gurdwaras, mandirs. And he is a man who in 2011 said, Ham sharab ke khilaf hai. And in 2000 and 21, 22, he produces a major gutala of liquor. And then he tried to throw two of his colleagues under the bus. He said, Ravi Nair did not report to me. Are bhai, you are the chief minister. Hmm. As Aam Army Party, you personally demanded kickbacks from the uh, uh, people involved. They've turned approver. So I think Mr. Kedriwal has a legal challenge on his hands. Yep. And today's judgment, I think, provides a perspective now the Aam Admi spokespersons are coming on different channels and said this doesn't mean this, this doesn't mean that. Yeah, yeah, the party, yeah. party in power is trying to do political vendetta. This is not between the central government and the Aam Admi party government. It's and the, the Aam Admi party, the legal the Aam Admi party, and the Aam Admi party. Yeah, Minister, the, uh, that, that's right. The Aam Admi party has been trying to make it out to be the Aam Admi party versus the government because they say the ED is basically following the instructions of the government. I'll come to that in just a bit. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the point you made about the word vendetta, which is, uh, you know, what the Aam Admi party has been using quite a lot. The other word they've been using a lot is conspiracy, sir. They've been saying this is the country's largest political conspiracy when the Delhi High Court today actually, interestingly, in one of its observations said, Kejriwal conspired with others. You know, picking up on that word conspiracy itself, it's interesting that the Delhi High Court, in its ruling, has said Kejriwal conspired with others. You are 100% right. Sometimes before you utter a word and accuse someone else of conspiracy, you know, it becomes a millstone around your own neck. 
Today, the High Court has turned around that this Mr. Kejriwal is guilty of participating in a conspiracy, a criminal conspiracy. So he was trying to say the conspiracy is by the uh, BJP against the Ahmadi party. Now he has to rule this because the court has said that he has participated in a conspiracy and it's a criminal co conspiracy. He's tried to defraud the uh, uh, taxpayer and the exchequer and he has demanded kickbacks. So I think this is, will, will become a millstone around his neck because the court's judgments cannot be taken lightly. And I think repeatedly people will come to point this out that the Delhi High Court has said you are involved in a conspiracy. In many ways, you know, the narrative that the Ahmadmi Party has used to defend itself, Minister Puri, uh, you know, has been a, one of victimhood. That this is a person, this is about personally trying to put Arvind Kejriwal out of, uh, uh, you know, out of sorts before the election, you know, to damage the party in a way before a big important election, etc. I want to read out two more points from the ruling and get your comments on that because, uh, because it, it, it's almost like the Delhi High Court uh, you know, is taking on some of these things that the Ahmadmi Party has said. Kejriwal involved in personal capacity. Kejriwal generated proceeds of crime. Kejriwal involved as Ahmadmi Party convener. Uh, you know, one would have imagined that this could have been a simple dismissal of uh, the plea against arrest. But the Delhi High Court has specifically mentioned these things. And Shiv, there is a reason why this has happened. If they had gone and merely uh, 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 questioned the arrest and the remand under Section 19 of the PMLA, hmm. it would have been one thing. But they tried to drive the point home. So the court turned around and said, don't play victim. You are participant in a conspiracy, both in your individual capacity and as the convener of the Aam Army Party. Why I brought up the chief minister? Because a few days ago, he made a public statement saying that uh, Ravi Nair, who is the kingpin of that uh, uh, liquor uh, racket, yeah. did not report to him. It will report to uh, uh, Atishi and to Mr. Uh, Bharadwaj. Hmm. But the point is, you were chief minister. By that reckoning, all the scams that have taken place, nothing can be pinned on him because as chief minister, he does not have direct control of any department. Hmm. So I think he's got caught in, in web of lies of his own making. When he says, why, they did not report to me. He said, all right, but in your personal capacity, you were responsible for the formulation of that excise policy. And as arm convener, you personally demanded kickbacks and got them. So I think he has to respond to that now. Okay. And therefore, the court was unsparing today. Yes, I think I it was absolutely crystal clear as to what the court has said. I, I agree with you. They were unsparing and, you know, each and every, uh, uh, you know, line that the uh, court said was more aggressive than the previous. Two final points, uh, Minister. Uh, obviously, this is playing out both, uh, you know, in, in, in the courts of law. There's a legal fight going on and there's a political fight going on. There's a battle of narratives and perception as well. The court also, along with all these very aggressive things that it said today, unsparing as you rightly called it, they also said... Uh, uh, enforcement directorate had enough material for arrest, uh, you know, which is which is perhaps one of the most important things they've said, because so far the Ahmadmi party has been saying, where is the money trail? You've not shown anything so far. This, in my view, would be the enforcement directorate's biggest possible vindication in the investigation, sir, because the, for the court to say the ED had well, enough I'm material to arrest the Delhi chief minister is a big deal. Well, uh, uh, Shiv, I am not in a position to say whether this is the most damning part in the investigation because the investigation and that process is still underway. Yeah, yeah. But I totally agree with you and I find myself agreeing in all, all points. Let me read out to you one section hmm. of what the court said. It says, material collected by ED reveals... Yeah. that Kejriwal conspired and was involved in formulation of excise policy and used and used proceeds of crime. He is also allegedly involved in personal capacity in formulation. This is one part. The second part, I think it is very clear, which is also said that the ED has produced enough evidence mm. for the court to base its judgment on. That part, these two taken together, mean that this challenge to the arrest and remand has been thrown out by the court. Okay. Rest will proceed as per due process. Okay. Minister Hardeep Singh Puri, thank you very much, sir, for speaking to India today. Pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.